Today, I'm going to read the story, Pete the Cat, Rockin' in My School Shoes. All right, and you might know this story, and you might even be able to read along with me. And it goes like this. Here comes Pete, strolling down the street, rockin' red shoes on his four furry feet. Pete is going to school, and he sings this song. I'm rockin' in my school shoes. I'm rockin' in my school shoes. I'm rockin' in my school shoes. And look, Pete's got his guitar rockin' down and his lunchbox. And look at all those friends on the bus with him. Wow. <gasps> look, Pete is sitting at his desk when his teacher says, Come on, Pete, down the hall to a room with books on every wall. Where is Pete going? <gasps> Do you know? If you said the library, you are correct. Pete has never been to the library before. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no. He finds his favorite book and sings his song. Look, his favorite book is called Wild Wild West. Hmm, what's his song? I'm reading in my school shoes. I'm reading in my school shoes. I'm reading in my school shoes. And it looks like he's reading about dinosaurs. Wow, look at that. That is great. Let's find out what else Pete does. <gasps> Pete's lunch. Check out Pete. He's ready to eat in a big noisy room with tables and seats. Where is Pete now? Hmm. Did you figure it out? If you said the lunchroom, you are correct. It can be loud and busy in the lunchroom. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no. He sits down with his friends and sings his song. I'm eating in my school shoes. I'm eating in my school shoes. I'm eating in my school shoes. Did you notice his fish sandwich right there in the middle? And he's got fish crackers, too. How about that? Pete and his friends are playing outside on a green grassy field with swings and tall side slides. Where is Pete now? He's on the playground. Kids are running in every direction. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no. He slides and swings and sings his song. I'm playing in my school shoes. I'm playing in my school shoes. I'm playing in my school shoes. All day long, Pete sings his song. I'm singing in my school shoes. I'm painting in my school shoes. I'm adding in my school shoes. I'm writing in my school shoes. He sings and sings, doesn't he? He's having a good old time. When school is done, Pete rides the bus home. Pete's moms ask him, what did you do at school today? And Pete says, I was rocking in my school shoes. I was rocking in my school shoes. I was rocking in my school shoes. And I will do it again tomorrow. Because it's all good. All good. That's a great story about Pete the cat rocking. And he's using a guitar to rock down with. So today, I would like to draw some guitars with you. So take a second and go get some paper and crayons and markers and whatever you've got to work with and meet right back. Okay, we're back. Let's get started with our guitars. The first part of the guitar that we're going to be making is what's called the body of the guitar. That's the bottom half of the guitar. And you can turn your paper in either direction. It really doesn't matter. And to make the base, the body of the guitar, you can use any shape that you would like. I'm going to use sort of a peanut shape coming out and in just a little bit. 
But over here, I might make more of a jagged kind of looking shape. Does it really matter? No, not really. You're going to make the guitar the way you like it best. The next thing we're going to do is make the neck of the guitar. The neck is kind of like that handle area that comes way up with the strings. That's called the neck of the guitar. So go ahead and draw on the neck of the guitar. And lastly, what we're going to need right away is the head of the guitar. And that's up here where the little wires come and you can tighten them up. Um, it's the very tip part of the guitar. So put that head part on. And I'm going to go ahead and draw my little screws going in. This is what the wires wrap around in order to tighten the strings to make the sound clear. All right, so I'm going to add those little screw pins on each side. All right, so once I do that, I have to have a way for the sound to go into the guitar and resonate sound out. So the guitar has a hole in it, a sound hole. So in your guitars, would you draw a hole, a circle? All right, once you have that below the circle, we are going to draw a little line, and that's what's going to hold the strings over top of the circle. And most guitars have about five strings. So I'm going to try to get five strings coming down across mine. Let me see if I can hold on to it. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And I'm a little crossed over and a little zigzaggedy, but I think that'll work for now. And let me go ahead and do my other guitar as well, too. One, two, three, four. I think I can fit one back here. Five. All right. So there's the basic form of the guitar. Now have some fun decorating it and adding all kinds of patterns. You can see some that I've already started. I decorated this one sort of with a fire going down below. Did you notice how he almost looks like he has a face to him? All right, I was just being silly right there. And this one I started decorating and now I'm working on the background. I'm putting a crazy little cat in the background and I'm gonna put patterns all over my cat as well too. Um, remember when we did the crazy cat drawings yesterday as folk art, I'm going to make another folk art kind of picture right here. And I think I'm going to give some circles on this cat's arm. It's going to match up with the circles on his guitar right here. And I think I'll do this arm as well. And after I draw the circles on there, I think I'm going to go ahead and color in the background around the circles. And I'll probably do each section of my cat just a little bit different. It'll take me some time to get it all done. But you can start to see what I've got right there. So while I'm working on mine, why don't you continue working on yours? I finished up the arms and I added a little bit of decoration into the tie. And I've been working on his mouth and his ears. I'm going to keep working on mine. Um, have fun doing yours. Do you need to put a cat in your background? Absolutely not. You can put anything in your background that you would like. All right. Have fun. Enjoy your day. Bye.